Hi, this is Miss Lori and Noelle, and we are back with West Georgia Gymnastics Center's week seven of Gymnastics at Home. This week, we're going to do our warm up and stretch with a ball. So, we're going to begin with our warm up. First, we're going to do jumping jacks forward and backwards for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Next, we're going to do high knee taps with the ball. We're going to do eight, starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to skip around the ball, lifting your knees up high, arms in up position, two times in one direction, then turn and do two times in the other direction. Very good. Next, we're going to do side lunges. You're going to lunge and touch the ball to your foot. Okay, we're going to do 10. Next, we're going to do our stretches. So we're going to start, lift the ball up high, standing in a straddle, and reach over to your right. Stretch and reach your ball to your toe. See if you can roll the ball between your legs and down around your foot. Down around your foot. Okay, then roll the ball up your leg and reach up high and go to your left side. And roll the ball around your foot. Good, and roll the ball up your leg and reach up high and reach out to the front. Roll the ball out as far as you can. And then roll the ball between your feet as far as you can behind you. And then roll the ball back to the front and bring your feet together in a pike. You're going to roll the ball up your legs. Reach up high, reach forward, and pike. Good, roll the ball up your legs, and squat. Good, roll the ball around your feet, and the other way. Good, and sit down on your bottom. Sit in a pike, and roll the ball out to your toes. See if you can put the ball on the floor past your feet and pick the ball up and roll it up your legs and stretch up tall and reach the ball out to your toes and roll the ball back up your legs. Good. Now sit in a straddle and roll the ball to your right foot. See if you can put the ball past your toes on the floor. Good, and roll the ball back up your leg and reach over to your left foot. And roll, see if you can touch the ball to the floor past your toes. And roll the ball up your legs and stretch up tall and reach the ball out as far as it will go. Roll it out as far as you can. And roll it back to your tummy. Roll it up your chest, bring your feet together and sit in a butterfly. Good, put the ball between your feet. Good, and try to put your chest to the ball. Hands out in front. Good, try to get your chest to the ball. Good, now sit back up and hold the ball. And stretch the ball out in front to a cat stretch. Out to the cat stretch. Good, and roll the ball back to your knees and roll the ball back out to a cat stretch. 
Good, and roll the ball back to your knees. And sit down on your bottom. And put your feet over the ball into a tabletop position. Hold, squeeze your knees together, hold, push your hips up high. Good, sit with the ball behind your back. And stretch back to your backwards cat. Good, try to reach as far as you can and roll the ball up your back. Okay, good, and sit back up and pick the ball up. Okay, now we're going to do our bridge stretch. Lay back on your back, put your hands beside your shoulders, feet pushing down on the floor, hands pushing up, ready, go. Good, make sure you're pushing through your shoulders with straight, tight arms. And come down, rock out your back. Good, remember if you need to use the couch, you can use the couch to push your armpits open. We're going to do our long bridge next. And push up into your bridge with straight legs and push your shoulders to the couch. Good job and come on down. And that is our stretching for this week. Good job. Now we're going to jump to candlestick and split. First, you want to make sure that you jump tight in a candlestick shape. And then you're going to try it jumping to candlestick and immediate split. So jump to the candlestick and split. Okay, try it again. Tight legs, jump to candlestick and split. Very good. You're gonna try that five times. Next, we're going to do handstand blocks over a line. So we're going to go kick as you go to handstand, push off your hands and block. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Make sure when you're blocking, your elbows are tight and you're pushing through the palms of your hands. Good, you want to do 10 of those. Next, we're going to do handstand walks with at least five steps. Now we're going to kick up to a handstand and try five handstand walks. Make sure you're keeping your legs tight together and you're keeping your body tight as you move your hands. Try to keep your arms as straight as possible. So you're going to kick up and try to walk your hands at least five steps. Okay, very good. Next, we're going to do a back handspring step out. We're gonna do it again and make sure that we are kicking into a big split with tight legs. Good job. Next, we're going to do a round off back handspring step out. We're going to do it again, and if you need someone to stay in there, make sure that they are there. We're going to do the back handspring into a big split with straight legs and tight arms. Good job. This week for our advanced tumbling, we're going to work on our toe touch our herky, tuck, and pike jumps. Starting with our toe touch, make sure that you're keeping your legs tight and you're snapping your feet fast together, landing with bent legs and hands beside your knees. Good, let's do it again. Make sure that you have tight legs and pointed feet in the top of that straddle. Good, now we want you to work on this five times to work on your form and the quickness of the jump. Next, we're going to work on our herky. Make sure your front leg is tight, pointing your feet, and your back leg is bent, and you have a big split at the top of the jump. Good, make sure you're sticking and stopping when you land. We're going to do it again, and make sure that you're quick and snapping your feet back together. Very good. Again, work on this jump five times. Next, we're going to work on our tuck jump. Make sure you're lifting and pushing through your feet. 
Good, work on your landing. Make sure your feet are tight and together and there's no movement when you land. Good. Next, we're going to do our pike jump. Make sure when you're doing the pike that you're not dropping your chest, that you're lifting your legs and your head stays neutral. Your arms thrust forward to reach for your ankles. Good, let's do it again and make sure that you're keeping your legs tight at the top of the jump. Good, remember working on these jumps five times each. Then we want you to pick three jumps to connect. When you connect, make sure you're using your arms in between each jump to connect and lift, getting the lift between the jumps and landing the last one. Good, let's try it again. Make sure your feet are snapping fast together. You're lifting your chest between each jump so you get lift going into the next jump. Good job. Make sure you're working on this, making sure you're getting nice tight legs and landings. Great job. <laughs> begin with flutter kicks. Laying on your back, keeping your body hollow, you're going to move your feet quick and keep your legs tight, switching your feet. Okay? Next, we're going to do scissor crunches. Okay? So every time you split, you sit up and crunch and touch your hands together under your leg. Okay? Keep your legs super tight and keep your rhythm. Very good. Next, we're going to do squat jumps. Okay, make sure when you're squatting, you're bending your knees over your toes. When you jump, your hands go down. When you squat, your hands go in front and you're pushing through your feet and pointing your toes, getting a full extension through your legs. Very good. Next, we're going to do lunge jumps. You're going to put your hands on your hips. You're going to lunge forward, keep your knee over your toes, and then jump and switch. Okay, make sure your back knee is touching the floor and you're keeping your knee bent right over your heel in the front. Very good. Next, we're going to do V-ups, sitting on your bottom you're going to sit up and make sure you're lifting all the way up and pointing your feet and reaching for your ankles. Okay, so you sit up and reach for your ankles. Sit up, reach for your ankles. Making sure you have a V shape as you sit up and you're only sitting on your bottom when you touch your toes or your ankles. Okay, next we're moving on to jelly bellies. Okay, when you do jelly bellies, you sit in a tight tuck, and then you go to hollow. Tight tuck, hollow. Tight tuck, hollow. Okay, keep a rhythm. You can go a little bit faster, keeping your feet tight and together. Okay, last, we want you to work on your splits. We would like you to do your over split using a couch cushion, pillows, or an ottoman, something that's going to challenge you and help you get your splits further down. Make sure you're being safe and you're not pulling your muscle in your legs and that you're keeping both legs tight when you're in the split. If you do not have your split all the way down without using anything, work on holding your split without doing an over split. You're gonna hold each split for one minute. Okay, switch legs, make sure you get a full good minute on each leg, making sure your shoulders are back and you're pushing through your hips and your back leg is tight and straight, keeping your foot on the floor, the top of your foot to the floor. Okay, squeezing tight. Then make sure you do your middle split. And when you're in your middle split, keep your hips in line with your feet. So you're in a straight line, not leaning back, or moving too far forward, 
and letting your foot slide on the floor to get your split bigger as you sit. Breathe in and blow out so that your body relaxes and goes further down on its own. All right, very good. That is your conditioning for this week. We'll see you next time.